Of course, here in Northeast Ohio, we have enjoyed pleasant weather across the last week. Let's talk to Anthony. Anthony, how long can we enjoy this enjoyable weather moving forward? A little bit too long, Peter. I mean, uh, well, let's start off with the drought monitor. I hate to be just, uh, I guess, rain on your parade, but we need the rain. <laughs> but again, uh, the drought conditions right now, this is uh, what we got from the uh, National Weather Service uh, Thursday. They update this every Thursday. But southern, southeastern Ohio, over to western Virginia, bullseyed with exceptional drought conditions. That includes much of Ohio when it comes to severe to moderate drought and much of the North Coast is at least abnormally dry. We need the rain. The Climate Prediction Center going throughout the next six to 10 days are saying below average, meaning pretty much very slim to no chances of rain going throughout the next 10 days. And as we wrap up the month of September, keep in mind, this is supposed to be the wettest month on average for us due to those tropical systems and we haven't seen a lot of that. Francine remained to the south. We just got some clouds. And going through our time, folks, we could see below average uh, rainfall uh, precipitation all throughout the next couple of weeks. High pressure. Boy, has this been stubborn over the past couple of weeks or so, giving us the fantastic and enjoyable weather. That's nice. But again, now it's turning to more of a uh, problem for us because the moisture, especially when it comes to the ground, is just dr really, really drying up. This is going to be our next opportunity, at least a uh, potential of rain. Here's the remnants of fr uh, Francine down to the south and west of us. South and east near the Carolina coast, we got to keep a close eye to this coastal low because it could uh, be more organized as we get beyond Monday and Tuesday. As it moves on shore, possibly it's a tropical depression. Again, something worth watching. And as we go throughout time, this is Tuesday. Here's that high that's going to be digging down to the south, interacting with this little tropical disturbance down to the southeast of us. Now, the good news is if we do receive any rain out of this, the exceptional drought areas will be receiving the rain first. And as we go throughout time here, this is going throughout much of next week. Well, you see the yellow, that's at least an inch and a half of rain, according to this model data elsewhere maybe a tenth of an inch of rain, but rain is likely. I'm trying to squeeze anything out of this forecast because we need some type of raindrops across the area for tonight. Remaining clear, low 60s with a light southeast wind. That will continue going throughout the next 24 hours with your National Design Mart hourly forecast. Temperatures starting in the mid 60s, warming up into the mid to upper 70s around noon. Sunny skies, wall to wall, sunny conditions all throughout the afternoon as we go throughout time for your afternoon hours. Of course, the lake breeze will kick in. So it is good news for the first pitch, 140. Rain still in town, mid 80s is gonna be a toasty afternoon for the Guardians game. And it's, uh, let's get closer to your Sunday night into Monday morning. Mid 60s around uh, after sunset for your Sunday. And around Monday morning, get under jump start on your work and school week. The final week of the summer season, upper 50s, low 60s is going to be a quiet start to your work and school week. And beyond that, Tuesday, low 80s, upper 70s, pretty seasonal for Wednesday. And there's that chance of rain for Wednesday. Hopefully, fingers really, really crossed for that one. For Thursday and Friday, we dry out mid to upper 70s. First day of fall next Sunday, upper 70s. Peter? We know we need that rain, Anthony. The wait continues. Yep.